Like typical kids, the Nakamura twins are big fans of their headphones. I like listening to music and stuff. Yep. <laughs> their mom and dad thought manufacturers would make them safe. Any product that's advertised as a kid product, you just kind of assume that it has all the whatever safety regulations. Test both of those things. But a recent yeah. analysis of 30 children's headphones by the consumer products website The Wire Cutter found nearly half of those advertising volume limits allowed sounds to play above safe levels. Some of them went to the level of a jackhammer or a rock concert. So when you consider that that volume level is going to be up against your child's ears, that could do permanent damage. A big concern considering headphone use by teens has increased from three hours a week in the 80s to more than 22 now. And younger kids are using them too. Dr. Brian Flieger helped the wire cutter with its analysis. I'm going to have airplane noise coming out of my speakers. Okay. Set the music to the level where you like it. And in our noisy world, Dr. Flieger showed us how much we have to turn up the volume to overcome outside sound. I can't hear a word you're saying. Children should be able to hear you in arm's length away. Dr. Flieger says all headphones and earbuds can be used safely but limit listening time to 90 minutes a day at no more than 80% of maximum volume. And consider headphones that block outside noise as they play. The Nakamuras are listening to the advice, making sure little ears don't have big problems later on. Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News, Wakefield, Massachusetts. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.